Good morning everyone and welcome to Tatton Park just outside of Manchester here in Knotsford and it is an exceptionally foggy morning um, I've been here since half seven um, here in the park um, and there's stags and hinds everywhere um, absolutely fantastic I'm um, getting some nice video and photos of, of the deer in the mist um, however I would like uh, the mist to lift a little bit. I've just got some hinds running around here in front of me, skipping along. I've got a stag behind me, so I just <laughs> you need to keep your wits about you here, I'll tell you that, because there's uh, deer popping out of the mist everywhere. Um, but no, I'm spending the day here today. I'm going to photograph as much as I can, get some video, um, and probably this afternoon might actually go down onto the water. Um, and see what water birds we have down there. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping for this fog to lift in the next hour or two so I can actually see the deer and get some nice photos. Um, it is nice with the mist, but there's mist and then there's like pea soup mist where you can't see anything. Um, but no, here I am, perfect day, sunshine all day forecast, and hopefully might be able to get a couple of deers rutting. So follow me today as we make our way around Tatton Park. Okay, so I've just got a male stag literally right in front of me here, minding his own business. But we do have another one over to the left, and he is with a large pack of hinds, um, and being very dominant that they're his. Um, so everybody else is staying clear at the moment, including myself, because um, yeah, I certainly don't want to be, uh, come face to face with him. certainly very dominant. I can't really get any good photo yet because it's, it's quite far away in the mist. There we go. I've just put that on record um, just so you can see this wonderful stag he's got a fantastic pair of antlers i'll give you that i know what you're thinking then fantastic pair but antlers
and I'm just going to pan around over to this stag here in front of me. Well, it's now 11 o'clock in the morning and it's still thick with fog. So I've decided to take a, a walk over to the cafe and come and get a hot drink. Of course, it's hot chocolate, um, but I am hoping for the uh, for this cloud and mist to lift. Um, at this rate, I don't think it's going to burn off till this afternoon. Um, one thing I forgot, school holidays, so there's lots of people around. But it's a massive place, um, and a lot of these people will probably stick to the paths anyway. Um, been a fantastic morning, absolutely great. Got some great images, got some great video. I just want this fog to clear so that uh, I can get some actual clear pictures of the, the deer here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to make another trip. Got aeroplane flying overhead, so I'll let that pass. Yeah, so unfortunately we're right in the uh, path of the airport here, so all the planes come overhead every five or ten minutes, so that's a bit annoying on the audio, but it's fine, we can deal with that. So, for the rest of the day, I'm going to head over to the deers, try to find some fallow deer, um, and then if it clears up, I might go down to the, the lakes and see if there's any grebe or ducks down there but for now i'm going to enjoy my coffee and warm up a little bit it strikes the bell for 11 o'clock So I've just come across a herd of fallow deer here now and we've got one of the male fallow deers which I think is a buck and the females are does I may be wrong I usually, I usually am um, but no it's wonderful to see these fallow deer here got some white ones and this male buck is just completely dark brown a really really dark brown and there's some younger ones that are still have a white coat so i mean i haven't looked up i don't know about fallow deer but what i'm assuming is that the older they get perhaps the darker the coat the coat will go for the uh for the bucks not too sure on that one but i don't know if you can see them here behind me the mist is just so thick today it's if it doesn't lift in the next couple of hours, it's in for the day, unfortunately. Um, so I might just call this uh, video Misty Deer or Deer in the Fog. But no, they're really nice to see and they don't really mind too much um, for the people walking around. Um, as long as you keep your distance and you respect them, they're all right. But I do know that um, somebody was saying the other day that a jogger uh, got chased or attacked by a deer. Well, if you're running early in the morning straight towards a, a male stag, um, you're going to get uh, into trouble. Best slow down and walk past him and then carry on running. But this male buck here, he's absolutely going for it is just running around all these females. It's ridiculous. I just wish the mist would lift because all I can see is it's like looking through a steamy window in your car. Anyway, I'm going to hang here and just see if the mist lifts a little bit just so I can get some video of this, uh, this buck chasing the, the does around.
Okay, so I've got uh, quite a lot of deer here in front of me at the moment. Um, some young stags um, and one very large royal stag with that 16 pointer, I think he is. So yeah, plenty of uh, points on his antlers. What I was just looking at is all the deer at the moment, I mean, it's middle of the day, so all the deer are just sort of relaxing and, and resting at the moment. And unfortunately, we've got people walking in, disturbing all the deer here, really don't have a clue what they're doing. I mean, they're literally just disturbing all the deer. And they're trying to get out, I mean, just, it's unbelievable. I mean, they're just like a few meters away with a telephoto lens. And all the deer have now got up and they're disturbing them. Unbelievable. Turn that round. Don't know if you can see her there. All the deer here. And she's just completely walked right into the middle of the herd. Unbelievable. Some people, you know, they don't deserve to be out, do they? So anyway, the bean deer here at Tatton Park since 1290. So that's a heck of a long time there's been some deer here, isn't it? Since 1290. And unfortunately, this woman's pushed all the male stags towards this group of hinds, where this male stag is as well. So that could cause problems. Well, I've no idea what was going on there, but uh, yeah, it certainly was a chase. Um, got two really big stags here, um, and a hind, 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 came running over from his pack into this guy's pack. I've just got to watch because. Uh, keep chasing each other it's, it's absolutely pretty crazy to be honest with you there's things going on all over the place and you've got to be got to have your wits about you because you've no idea what's coming up behind you um, and then you don't want to miss a bit of a sparring or or anything like that so uh, so yeah I've got myself a little surrounded here actually um, so I'm going to sort of back off a little bit I think feel a little uncomfortable.
Well, it's absolutely fantastic here today, guys. Well, the weather has eventually cleared up. I mean, what time are we on? So it's half past two in the afternoon, and we've now got blue sky, blazing sunshine, and 99% of the fog has now lifted. So at last, we get some blue sky. Um, and just look at the colors of the trees today. Autumn is on its way, and it's looking beautiful absolutely got a lovely um, herd of deer here behind me with a stag i have stags sat in front of me here it is a fantastic place to come to i highly recommend that if you want to see deer tatton park certainly ticks that box with a big green tick however it is very nice it's very photogenic it's a great opportunity to opportunity i'm watching me back opportunity to see these deer but deep down in me i prefer to go to scotland and see them in the cairngorms in the wild um, so that's what i'll be doing hopefully in the next few weeks um, or even over winter heading up to the cairngorms hopefully to photograph the red deer and whatever other wildlife there may be up there. But for now, wow, what a place. Okay everyone, I'm going to wrap this video up here now. It's been a fantastic day here at Tatton Park. Um, a couple of tips, I came in through the Knutsford entrance, um, parked in the car park in town there. It's about £3.80 for the entire day, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, however, you do have a 1.6 mile walk to get to the north end of the park where the deer are. Uh, so keep that in mind um, that you do have quite a long walk and then you've got to do that on the way back as well but no what a fantastic day hard work being on my feet for i don't know goodness knows eight nine ten hours um got loads of good videos loads of good photo highly recommend it sensational day yep truly worth coming out here anyway here's a few pictures um some of my favorites of the day and until next time i will see you on the next video